Hi, this is Steve Lawler, I'm the director of the Walker Leadership Institute, and we're excited about this fall's program with the Langenberg Leadership Forum. The Langenberg Leadership Forum was founded in 2017, and it is a series of community leaders who are people of faith, talking about how their faith influences their leadership. This year, we're focusing on leadership after 2020 and the many challenges that exist for leaders in this time, both in terms of COVID, but also the racial reckoning that uh, happens with George Floyd's murder and, and on to the continued polarization in our culture. So we're starting off with uh, Cheryl Walker. Uh, Cheryl uh, is the interim CEO and president of the Deaconess Foundation. She is also the chair of the Missouri Ethics Commission. She is the co-chair of the search committee that brought uh, Dr. Choi to be the president of the University of Missouri system. Um, she has worked in a variety of different settings and been an amazing, dynamic speaker. Um, and so we're really looking forward to hearing uh, her vision about leadership uh, after 2020. That'll be followed by me. I uh, will be talking about leadership after 2020 based on some research that I've been doing and looking at how uh, three key things have shaped that leadership. Uh, COVID, as I mentioned, racial reckoning, and the polarization in our culture. Follow that, uh, following that will be uh, Dr. Benjamin Akande, who will be in November, and he is uh, currently the Director of Human Resources and Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Stephen Nicklaus. And then we'll wrap it up in December with Desiree Coleman, who's Senior Vice President at Wells Fargo and works on community engagement and diversity, equity, and inclusion as well. All of these are on the third Tuesday of the month. We start at 7.30 in the morning and we're done by 9.30. So 